Right then, hello and welcome to another one of today. We're having a look at Sonic the Hedgehog on the good old Sega Master System. This was the first Sonic game I ever played and it is fantastic. Of course, this is being emulated because they haven't released a Sega Master System Mini yet. I do have the Mega Drive Mini, um, but uh, yeah, I, I just want to go back down memory lane and play this classic from my youth. Um, so yeah, this was again the first Sonic game I actually played and um, completed it loads of times. And I'm going to see if I can complete the game in one video uh, and get all the Chaos Emeralds as well. Uh, now you will notice that there's going to be a lot of slowdown as well again because it's being emulated um, and not very well to be fair. Um, it took a long time to actually get this set to run smoothly uh, because for some reason the game would run really really slow. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try my best. This is, uh, not a difficult game, but, uh, some of the bosses can be a bit tricky. But this is very primitive compared to, uh, what was later released on the Mega Drive and then so on and so forth, so. Uh, wanna get the checkpoint. I'm not going to go for all of the bonuses as well. If you complete the level in a certain time, I think, or if you have over 90 coins or 70 coins, something like that, then you get a bonus level. Um, oh, well, not going to happen now. Uh, yeah, you can't pick up your rings if you uh, lose them, sadly. Die. And there we go. Level one completes in a minute and 31 seconds. There's good old Dr. Kintober. But yeah, uh, Sonic 2 um, on the Master System as well was completely different from the uh, the Mega Drive. Uh, and that is actually quite a difficult game. I could never complete it when I was young. I thought it was uh, a little bit annoying. Right, level 2 then. This is where you get your first uh, Chaos Emerald. You can see the lag as well from uh, the shield that you pick up. Again, that is an emulation issue. That has nothing to do with uh, anything else. Oh, you git. But yeah, we do still have the old uh, Sega Master System, which came with uh, Alex Kidd in Miracle World built into the actual console itself. Which was cool, it was like the first, I don't know, ROM that was on the, uh, the system. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, good times back then. Of course, I know where all the, uh, the Chaos Emeralds are, or just Emeralds or whatever, uh, in their specific locations. Grab some more rings. And some more rings, die. I could have ramped off that, hold on. Gotta do it again. You can't do your like little spin dash thing either, sadly. There we go. And we're at the end. Do we get a bonus this time? Oh, we actually do. Cool. Bonuses don't really do anything apart from you get a load of rings and you can just build up your lives. So. There's only six Chaos Emeralds as well, or just Emeralds, or Jewels, or Gems, or whatever, uh, in this game. I think it's seven later on. I'm not a huge Sonic fan. I was gifted Sonic Mania on Steam a couple of years ago. I've never actually played it. So, the different colored springs, of course, give you uh, different heights that you can jump. The green is the most powerful. Which does come into play later on. Come on, get in there. Oh, we want to go up there because this, uh, more coins. Or rings. I keep saying coins. And you get a continue as well. Right, another life. 
the end, and there we go. Right, level three is of course the boss. Bosses are very easy, they only have eight hits and then they die. You just gotta time your jumps correctly. Good old Dr. Eggman. Oh no, I fell down the pit. Oh wait, it's a bonus life. I will die multiple times on this game, but that's just because of uh, my incompetence. So. Come on. Two, three, four. And then we'll get a fifth one on that one. And there's just three more hits and then he dies. But he always goes on the right hand side for the second phase. One, two, three. There we go. And stage one is complete. So yeah, it's, it's not a, a hard game, like I said, it's ooh, lots of lag there. The labyrinthian levels are incredibly laggy, so I will warn you. Bridge! Of course, it's not Green Hill Zone or this, that, and the other, no, it's just Bridge. Love the music on this level, though. Ooh, careful. At least we got our shield back. Now, uh, the second Chaos Emerald is somewhere in this level. Again, the lag. Can't do anything about that, sorry. Let's see, no. Just gotta remember where they are. Ooh, that was lucky. There they go. Lag. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Because that enemy was on the screen. Oh, no, you swine. Uh, now, the lag wasn't that noticeable on the European version, of course, because our TVs ran at 50 hertz, so it was only 50 FPS, but uh, when this game is running at 60, then yeah, you do notice the lag a hell of a lot. There's a second. Chaos Emerald. And that is it. Level done. Oh, another bonus. Cool. Come on. There we go. Yeah, these levels are very short. Oh my god, yeah, that happens a lot on these levels. Come on, get down there for goodness sake. There we go. Could you imagine being in uh, Sonic's shoes with these levels? He must have the most killer migraines after each stage. Come on, get the other life. Uh, come on. Oh my word. I want the life, damn it. There we go. Ah, we didn't get another life on that one either from the rings, but not a problem. Now, level two in the bridge is an auto scroller. And it is very laggy. This is one of the laggier stages in the entire game. Uh, I will warn you later on as well, on one of the levels, it has a lot of uh, screen flashing and flickering, so if you suffer with uh, photosensitive epilepsy or anything like that, 
then I will warn you beforehand uh, what level it is. So, uh, yeah, just to uh, safeguard yourself. Oh, and that lag is bloody awful. I told you this stage was laggy, but... And there is also a uh, little secret life that you can get near the end of the stage. Oh, you son of a bitch. Just gotta wait. Alright, checkpoint. You thought you got me then. You are mistaken. Almost at the end. Just takes forever. This stage is just... Is more boring than anything, but at least you get to hear the music more. There we go. End of stage two. And another bonus, cool. I honestly don't know how the bonuses work. I think it's a certain amount of rings. I keep wanting to say coins. Um, certain amount of rings or certain time. Maybe it's like a par time that you have to complete the level in, I don't know. It just seems to be random. Alright, let's get our continue at least. Nice, thank you. Actually gonna complete this level then bloody hell nope oh well yeah that one's a bit of a pain but we don't get any uh, bonuses right boss number two and this is what you can really expect from one of these stages one two three one two three Four. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yep, that can happen. That's our first death. You gotta input your jumps correctly. One, two, three. I'll just play it safe. One, two. Oh my god, again! I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. This is like one of the easiest bosses you can actually uh, face. There we go. Two more. Yeah, sometimes your inputs, again, because it's being emulated, your inputs can get eaten. So, uh, yeah, now and again. Uh, he doesn't jump. That is stage two complete. Or act two complete. Right, into the jungle for uh, stages or group of stage number three. Another Chaos Emerald on this stage. I think it's this stage. Ah. 
I don't know why, but the uh, repetitive patterns that they have on the waterfalls always makes my vision go very weird. On the plus side, even after we died god knows how many times on uh, the second boss of the game, um, still got eight lives. The music on this game, though, is fan-bloody-tastic. I can't remember the name of the composer, but they also made music for one of the Castlevania games as well. So there you go. So this is where you get your second, or sorry, your third emerald. Uh, we don't have to worry about any of the other platforms, we can just skip most of the, uh, level. Like so. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, luckily there was a checkpoint there, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. Whoops. I don't think we're going to get a bonus this time, though. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, my word. Well, that happened. That was, uh, not a death I'm afraid of. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! We'll wait for the platform this time. Again, me being impatient plus the uh, controls being eaten does tend to happen a little bit. Ooh. All right, we'll wait for him to go this time. And there we go. Two minutes. Yeah, that wasn't a great stage, but oh well. Okay. This stage is a pain. It is not an auto-scroller, but you have to go up the stage rather than across. And uh, as most older games, if the, uh, the screen at the bottom disappears, you don't just fall straight back down, you die. So yeah, you got to be very vigilant not to slip off any platforms or you will just fall to your doom. Oh, and again the lag from the, uh, the intense graphics. Some coinage, or ringage, coinage, whatever. Checkpoint, please. Tarver, much. I think we're coming close to the end anyway. Oh, crap. That almost killed me. As you know, it did. Oh. That's what I mean about when the screen scrolls off. Uh, yeah, you do die. Oh well. We'll keep going. Yeah, we're not going to risk it this time. We did have eight lives, we're now down to five. Yeah, we'll just 
keep going up. And luckily the lag does help somewhat with the uh, the inputs. And there we go, stage two done. Hooray! You even seen Sonic carrying on walking off the screen there. But uh, yeah, act two pass. Now we're at the boss. Uh, I can't remember if there's any secrets or anything. Yeah, another life. Good stuff. Now, I probably will die a couple of times on this boss, because this one can be a bit annoying. Shit. Well, that happens. I don't think the life comes back. No, it doesn't. Well, that is a pain then. Come on, jump. Alright, two hits on you. Another hit there. Now, when a cannonballs explode, you've got to be careful because the smoke particle that it leaves behind uh, can still kill you. So. Should be dead. There we go. And level complete. Hooray! So now we move on to, personally I think is the worst group of stages, which is the uh, Labyrinth. Now, the Labyrinth stages aren't exactly mazy, but they're just very laggy and a bit annoying. These are, yeah, I, I don't like the Labyrinth stages, not at all. But, oh well, I'll try and blast through them as quick as possible. Air bubble, just for security. Well, I didn't want to fall down there, but it's fine. Get another air bubble, please. Come on. Come on. There it is. Crap, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I'll just uh, wait. Ah, at least we get a checkpoint and more air bubbles. Thank you. Yeah, this part is annoying. you got to wait for this little dweeb to fire his little spiky balls at you. Drop down and then kill him. But... Right, there we go. Right, air bubble please, top. Um, yeah, we'll just quickly go up just to get a bit of air. Again, the lag. You see how bad the lag is. It eats your inputs. Actually, I don't think the Chaos Emerald is on this stage. Thank you. So we can just go to the end. Right, stage one done. Labyrinth. 
Any secrets? Nope. Oh, careful. Can't remember what's over here. I think it's just coins. Yeah. Coins and a shield thing. Um, the shield causes more lag, so I'm not going to worry about it. No, I'm just going to run into the spikes. It's fine. we get more coins over here anyway. Oh, look at this lag. It's terrible. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. No secrets up there. No. Well, coins. Coins are always welcome, especially when you've got none. Uh, nothing here. No. All right, let's just get some more air a second. Cool. Robots underwater. Could never understand that. Either they would explode immediately, or they would kill you from the electric shock. So, work that bug right, because I can't. Alright, come on, give me my air bubble, please, ta. Oh, look at that lag, that is atrocious. That's like Forza Motorsport 1 type of lag, that is. Oh, crap, no. Air bubble. Thank you. Right, the Chaos Emerald on this stage, you gotta be quick. Um, with the lag, oh, it's gonna be touch and go, I think. Right, spiky ball, go away. Oh my god, stop lagging so much. Right. right get up there. And you gotta run into some spikes to get the uh, emerald. There it is. Hooray! And end of stage. Thank you very much. Good, the Labyrinth ones are done. They were the ones I, were, I was dreading the most. But, oh well, at least we got it done. Okay, and the boss. This one can be a bit of a pain, especially with the lag and the, uh, the broken inputs. But, uh, yeah, we'll try. Try our best. I'm not going to bother about him being on the bottom there. Alright, come on, fire. Good. This is annoying because of the lag and everything else. It just takes forever to uh, jump. Yeah, go and fire your stupid little balls. Okay, two more hits. There we go, dead. See, that one's not hard at all. It's just where you keep getting lag with the controls. It just yeah makes things complicated. Oh well. I move on to my favourite group of stages, Scrap Brain Zone. And the music on this group of stages as well, bloody wonderful. There we go, we've got another life as well. Ah, listen to that music. Bloody marvellous. 
And it's weird not having uh, the lag as well from the Labyrinth Zone, but... But again, I just want to get through these stages as quick as possible and die. That was just me being impatient. Oh well. Come on. I want the uh, coins, damn it. Rings. Whatever. And the life is gone, of course. Ooh. Safeguard myself, get some more rings. Oh, that was lucky. That wasn't. There we go. Stage one complete, or act one complete. Only three coins, but 55 seconds, so. Right, act two. This is where we get our fifth emerald. Oh, careful. No, I don't want to pick up the shield. Again, it causes more lag. And we want to reduce as much lag as possible. Thanks for that, you dweeb. Something tells me I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Christ. Oh well, no worries. Ah, I can't get our life. Uh, we'll go down first. Or do we want to go up first? I can't remember where the emerald is. We'll go down first. It doesn't matter. This is where we get the life. It is. So I still kind of remember where the stages go. Uh, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the emerald is. So, forgive me for running around like a bloody headless chicken. I want to check these two paths down here. Oh, miss that one. That takes me here. Which was completely pointless. Um, mm, can't get back up either, it's alright. We'll just do a circle. Go back around. This takes us... where? Up here... Right, that closes that door. Uh, what's that in there? Nothing. I think that's where the emerald is in there. Ah, yeah, okay, so you've got three paths here, right? Uh, both of these two are death pits. Go down here. And this is where you get the hemorrhoid. Nice. Uh, right. Back 
we go. Oh no, can't go back up. Okay. Never mind then. I don't think you can actually beat the... Uh... No, you can't. Um... Oh yeah, you have to go back around and... Yeah, go the other way. Okay, I get you. I remember how to do it. I remember. Oh, cheers for that then, you bloody idiot. <laughs> I just like how he goes off stage left and waves as he does so. So, we've got to do all this bloody malarkey again. Thankfully, it doesn't take that long. And again, we get to listen to the music a bit longer. So. Beam me up, Scotty. There we go. I remembered. Is the end of the stage, I think. Yep. Nice. Still no more bonuses. We didn't get no coins on that one either. Sorry, we didn't get any coins. Proper grammar. Scrap brain boss. Which isn't actually a boss. Uh, we'll go up. No, we can't go up. Uh, this is just a maze, and uh, there is no boss at the end of it. I'm not really too concerned about the lives at the moment. Uh, yeah, you just want to go up. Is it left that we have to go? Uh, oh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, that locks it. There we go. So now you chase him. And uh, you don't actually fight him. Because he's a big pussy. Come back here, Kentober, you prick. And there we go. It. That is Act 3. Right, now this is a stage with the uh, the flashing images, so if you are sensitive to photosensitivity or whatever, look away now. I will just get through the stage as quick as possible. Oh. Just so you don't have to endure the flashing, which is constant. Sadly, you got to wait for this dweeb to uh, move across. I don't know if there's a platform below. No, there isn't. Oh, well, at least we killed him. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. The flashing effects does uh, hurt my eyes as well, so... Again, just get through this as quick as possible. Almost at the end, so don't worry.
Okay, we're at the end. And it is now not safe to look back yet. Now it is. Okay, so uh, now you can look at the screen again. My word, my eyes hurt. There we go. One more Chaos Emerald to get. And we're at the Sky Base. Right. I have to go onto these platforms because this is where we get our final Chaos Emerald. And we skip pretty much the entire level. But we get to hear this music, which is great. And again, the lag. Glorious, glorious lag. Come on. You can go faster than this. I believe in you. And there we go. Final Chaos Emerald has been... <laughs> okay. We'll try that again, shall we? Uh, yeah. I forgot they shot, uh, cannon fire. Well, that was embarrassing, but oh well. We gotta do all this again! Yeah, notice you don't get any coins or anything on this stage. Right, luckily, the game did lag there, so we were able just to uh, jump straight on the platform without falling off. platform. Drop down. There he is. And there we go. And we just make it to the end of the stage. And that's it. Oh, we get 10 coins at least. So that's a plus. And there we go, we got all six Chaos Emeralds. And now it's just uh, time to fight the final boss. Dr. Eggman on the Sky Base. Get two early hits on him. Two more hits. Two more hits. I gotta wait. Come on. Ah, and there we go. Three hits at the end. Come back here, Eggman, you little shit stain. He's just going to stand there and then disappear. Sonic's going to stand there and look very nonplus. And that is it, ladies and gents. That is Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System. Very short game, but incredibly enjoyable. And we still had seven lives at the end as well. No music either at the end. And Sonic throws the Chaos Emeralds. Up into the sky. And he destroys the planet. Because Sonic is actually uh, the devil himself. And there we go. 
And now we let the credits roll. So. This takes a little while, sadly. You can't just skip all of this. So you have to wait. Come on. Special bonus, 50,000. Is that it? Hello? And, because we got all the Chaos Emeralds, we get the special good ending where Sonic stands there with a microphone and pretends to sing. So yeah, there we go. That was a lot easier than I remember it being. So, thank you very much, Sega, for uh, bringing this fantastic game to the Master System. Of course, very primitive compared to the ones on the Mega Drive and this, that, and the other, but it is still a really, really good game. And it's something different for the channel as well. So. Ayano Koshiro and Yukifuni Inoue. Sign produce. There we go. Rearranging the original music. Yuzo Koshiro. There he is. And special thanks, of course, to Yoshio Y. Lunarian SG. Presented by Sega. End. And there we go. We are done. And this is our lovely ending screen. So, uh, yeah. There we go. That is Sonic the Hodgehog then. On at the Sega Master System. Complete. So, uh, yeah. I will leave it here for now. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time for another one-off. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.